Coventry officials also continue to investigate tonight after a 13 year old boy got behind the wheel of an ambulance driving it into an embankment. You can see it right here. Three people were hurt in total, including the boy, a firefighter and a man on a motorcycle. All only had minor injuries. Authorities say when this all began, it started with when police brought the boy who has autism to the fire station to try and calm him down. Tonight, leaders of the Autism Project explain to us how first responders are trained to handle these types of calls and what more can be done to prevent future incidents. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Lashuto has the new details. Sheena? Well, experts say autism is different for everyone. There's no real way to actually predict how someone will react to something, but that's why first responders are trained to always stay calm, especially when it comes to someone with a disability. A helmet cam captures this Central Coventry rescue driving across Route 117 before it goes down an embankment hitting a motorcyclist on the way. You can even see the exact moments where a firefighter falls from the ambulance trying to stop the 13 year old boy inside. It's an anomaly that you know not in my 25 years and Frank's 40 we've never seen. Police say the boy has autism. He was brought to the station after authorities responded to a call made by his mother. While firefighters were trying to calm him down he jumped in the front seat and floored it. But as we take a look at the dramatic events unfolding, the executive director of the Autism Project asks us to consider another point of view, the young boys. It may not necessarily be perceived as help so much as, wow, what's all this coming at me? I don't know what this is. Let me get out of here. The organization is dedicated to supporting those living with autism spectrum disorder. Quinn says education is key. Many programs offer courses for first responders to help them better understand those living with autism and other disabilities. And that is where we as a community and as a team need to learn how best to communicate with individuals with with autism so that they understand what it is we're asking them. And Quinn says many departments in Rhode Island have gone through that training. Coventry police and fire officials say after this incident, they are taking another look at their policies and procedures. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.